the hair the angel sing glory to the newborn king peace on earth and mercy mild god and sinners reconciled joyful of the nations rise join the triumph of the skies with angelic hosts proclaim Christ is born in Bethlehem hark the herald angels sing glory to the newborn King hail the heaven Prince of Peace hail the Son of Righteousness light and life to all he brings risen with healing in his wings mild he lays his glory by born that we no more may die born to raise us from the earth born to give a second birth hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn King. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ, who was born in Bethlehem of Judea, be with you all. And with your spirit. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. My brothers and sisters, it's a great joy to come into your home uh, this Christmas. Thank you for having us in, and Today, as we gather together, we celebrate Christmas. Christmas has come, the, the day when we celebrate that Christ uh, took on our humanity. And so we are invited to walk with God. So as we prepare now to celebrate this Christmas, I want to welcome our St. Joseph's parishioners. I want to welcome some of my family who's watching this. And I want to welcome many of our visitors who are here today. This is uh, a day of great joy. And so we are praying for you. Let's start this Christmas Eucharist by calling to mind that Christ came into our world to rescue us from darkness. Lord Jesus, your prophet Isaiah proclaimed, a people who walk in darkness have seen a great light. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you were born in Bethlehem of Judea. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you were born of Mary and Joseph and dwell among us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and lead all of us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, glory, glory to God in the highest, glory, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. 
Let us pray. O God, who wonderfully created the dignity of human nature and still more wonderfully restored it, grant, we pray, that we may share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their tackmaster you have smashed, as on the day of Midian. For every boot that trampled in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us, upon his shoulder dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Savior Christ the Lord. Today is born our Savior Christ the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations among all peoples his wondrous deeds today is born our savior christ the lord let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. Today is born our Savior, Christ the They shall exult before the Lord, for he comes. 
for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires, and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age, as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I proclaim to you good news of great joy. Today a Savior is born for us. Christ the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph too went up from Galilee to the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, The time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all people. For today, in the city of David, a savior has been born for you who is Christ and Lord, and this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly hosts with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
So thank you very much for welcoming us into your homes to celebrate this Christmas Mass. Last week, I made my annual pilgrimage to the, one of the largest Christmas tree uh, lots in Long Beach, and I was so surprised because when I arrived, usually there were hundreds of trees out 12 days before Christmas, and there were only about 30 trees left. And it's obvious that Christmas tree sales went way up this year. And the tallest tree I could find was about a five-footer. And I asked the attendant if another shipment of trees were coming in, and he replied, that's it, I'll take it, I said. And so the attendants cleaned up the tree, they wrapped it in plastic, put it in my car. Well, back at St. Joseph's, I pulled the plastic encased tree out of my car and I laid it down flat on my patio. And then I had to run off to the office for a Zoom meeting and I forgot all about the tree. Well, next morning I realized the tree was still outside. So I took off the plastic, I put the tree in a stand and I saw that half the tree was dead. Brown needles were falling off. It seems that the part of the tree laying on the ground, wrapped in plastic all night, it died. I suffocated the Christmas tree. So after the tree was decorated, I put it in the corner of the room, the dead part hidden against the wall. The front part of the tree, visible, was lush and green, and the air smelled of the fragrance of pine, at least half the air. So that's how my 2020 is ending. I suffocated the Christmas tree. But as I was looking at that tree over the last few days, I realized that my little tree is really a metaphor for what we want to do with this past year and all of the crises. Put the darkness behind us. My little tree represents surrendering all of the little deaths we have faced this year and put them behind us. How appropriate are Isaiah's words for us this Christmas 2020. We heard Isaiah proclaim, quote, a people who walked in darkness have seen a great light upon those who dwelt in a land of gloom. A light has shone. The church gives us the prophet Isaiah every Christmas because 800 years before Christ, Isaiah is speaking to the chosen people of Judah. Their enemies are growing in strength, surrounding them, and soon they'll be captured. And so as darkness, as gloom closes in on them, they look around and ask, is God for us or is God against us? And of course, we know that God was on Judah's side. God has always been on our side. That's the meaning of Christmas. The Lord Jesus Christ is always with us. Christmas is both a gift and a challenge this year. The miracle of Christmas is that God would embrace human life. The challenge for us is to see God moving among us in every human encounter. This Christmas, make your own contribution of giving flesh to your beautiful life of faith. We just heard the most famous story to come out of Bethlehem. Mary, Joseph, shepherds, and angels gave faith to the world that first Christmas night. Now, the people of Bethlehem 
couldn't care that Mary and Joseph were in town. Mary and Joseph didn't matter much coming from a poor town in an out-of-the-way place called Nazareth. But they mattered to Jesus Christ. And so, Christmas is the celebration that every generation upon generation, everyone is important to God. Mary and Joseph, in the small space of that manger, they made room for Christ that night. Make space in your life for Christ because all of us are important to God. Christmas is a gift and a challenge. That first Christmas, God did something for the world, and so should we. Embrace the sacredness within you, and you will then honor the dignity and the sacredness of every living person. Christmas is a gift and this year more of a challenge. Many family gatherings have been downsized and so maybe this year there's no need to put the extra leaves in the dining table. Santa Claus spent the whole season behind plexiglass. Maybe dinner is a little simpler this year and you're just hauling out the Instant Pot. But the cookies, they always smell delicious. The challenge of this Christmas, focus on what you do have and not on loss. Many of you are going to see the family virtually on Christmas Day. Say hi to the grandparents for me. You still decorated the tree, even if it's half dead. There are gifts under the tree. And as you watch this, maybe some of them have been opened. And take a drive through the neighborhood. Some of the neighbors have worked really hard to bring a sense of festivity to Christmas with their beautiful display of lights. Or maybe just enjoy the aroma of your Christmas dinner cooking that fills the house. And the cookies, newly baked, they smell delicious. Some of our family rituals and traditions have been altered this year, but they'll be back next year. How do I know? Because Christmas comes every year. Every year, we need Christmas to remind us that God leaped into humanity and we leaped into divinity. We get to share in God's personal life. Remember, where love is, God always is. And finally, this is my Christmas prayer. Let's open our eyes in Christmas faith and we will see God everywhere. Let's open our eyes in Christmas faith and we will see God in everyone. Merry Christmas. My brothers and sisters, our faith commenced at our baptism, and so on this Christmas, let's renew our baptismal promises which allow us to participate and to pray in this Eucharist. So, holy people of God, I ask you, do you reject Satan? I do. 
Do you reject Satan and all of his empty works and empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in his Son, Jesus our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered, died, rose from the dead, and ascended to the Father in heaven? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And this is our faith. This is the faith of our church. Let's always be proud to profess this faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, today a child is born unto us. His name is Emmanuel. God is with us. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. Through these prayers we now offer, may his will be done in us. For Pope Francis, Archbishop Gomez, and all who serve the church, that God will inspire them in leading us to deeper faith and greater love during this Christmas season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For peace throughout the world, that the Prince of Peace may bring an end to violence and lead all peoples to greater cooperation in overcoming poverty and disease. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are traveling or away this Christmas, particularly members of the military, emergency responders, and those who work, whose work takes them far from home, that God will guide their movements, preserve them in love, and bring them home safely to their families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We offer today's Holy Mass for the repose of the souls of Edward and Mary Dondero, John DeRuder, John Risco, and for all St. Joseph parishioners, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, hear our, our prayer. For all those sick, particularly those suffering with COVID-19, that the Lord Jesus will heal them and minister to them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for all who have died, including Jeanette Stassi, that they will be united with the multitude of the heavenly host in glorifying our heavenly Father in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, hear our, our prayer. Lord, hear the prayers of your church and the petitions of those who are praying at home. We thank you for the birth of your Son, who came to save and rescue us, for he is Christ, living and reigning forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So my brothers and sisters, as we come to celebrate Christmas, I want to thank you for your extraordinary Christmas generosity, generosity which fills this empty basket. Thank you for mailing in your Christmas donations or for uh, your electronic giving uh, uh, through Faith Direct. And if you're visiting today and, or you haven't uh, offered a donation in a while, just Google St. Joseph Long Beach and on our homepage you'll see a little red button. It says Donate. Just go click, and when you make a generous offering, quietly, you'll hear me wish you a very Merry Christmas. Thank you for your great gifts. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread and wine we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, these will become our bread of life and our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. My brothers and sisters, on this Christmas, pray now that this sacrifice will be pleasing to the Lord God Almighty. May, May the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept this sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise, praise and the glory, glory of his name, name for, for our good and the good of all his holy church. church. Make acceptable, O Lord, our oblation on this solemn day when you manifested the reconciliation that makes us wholly pleasing in your sight then, and inaugurated for us the fullness of divine worship. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with, with your, your spirit, spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let's give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks holy father almighty and eternal god for in the mystery of the word made flesh a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind so that as we recognize in him god made visible we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and saints, and with the powers of heaven, together we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration. Let them become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. Giving thanks, he said the blessing, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chalice. He gave you thanks. He said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many, so that sins may be for, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look upon this oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you wish to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, martyrs, and all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, with Jose, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people that you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family and this family participating from home. You have summoned us before you, and in your compassion, O merciful Father, 
Gather to yourself all of your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. And remember especially this Christmas your relatives and friends who have died, those who have died from any disease, and remembering especially those who have died from COVID-19. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. United with the whole church that prays this glorious Christmas, together we say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from evil. Grant peace in our day. By the help of your mercy, may we be free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, the power and the glory, glory are yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but look on the faith of your church, the faith of those at home, and grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord's Christmas peace be with you always. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, born in Bethlehem, living among us, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, not worthy that, that you should enter, enter under my roof. roof. But only, but only say, say the, word, the word, and my soul shall be healed. My brothers and sisters in faith, I know you're longing for the Eucharist, and um, may the word of God continue to fill you, uh, your hearts, and your homes. And so know that we are in spiritual communion with the church throughout the world this Christmas as we offer this prayer. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I embrace you as if you were already there. And unite myself wholly to you. And unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that just as the Savior of the world, born this day, is the author of divine generation for us, so he may be the giver even of immortality, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 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 So my brothers and sisters, thank you so much for praying with us this Christmas day. And know that I pray for you not only this Christmas, but every day. And if you're watching this on Christmas Eve or early Christmas morning, we will have a drive through uh, procession for you to receive Holy Communion on Christmas, on Christmas Day, December 25th, uh, from 10.30 in the morning until 11 o'clock in the parking lot. So please come, uh, bring your family, uh, and uh, wear a mask, and we'll be happy to give you... Uh, the reception of Holy Communion on Christmas with a special Christmas blessing. And finally, on behalf of uh, our retired deacon, uh, Don Gaff and his wife Tina, uh, deacon uh, Shane and his wife Olga, and deacon Tom and his wife Pat, and with our entire pastoral team, we extend to you and your loved ones, uh, your home, uh, a very special prayer for a blessing of joy and peace this Christmas and in the new year. So have a blessed day, and again, thank you for praying with us, and have a Merry Christmas. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. spirit. And may the blessings of Almighty God come upon you and your family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go, see God everywhere, and glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to be God. God.
joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven, heaven, nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let us our songs employ While fields and floods, rocks, hills and plains Repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy Repeat, repeat the sounding joy